Recently, I had a question about toilets and what toilet facilities are there on the allotment. Well, I want to show you this allotment toilet here. This one was built by myself and my friend Jeff. It cost about £800, but some of the materials were donated. So I'm going to give you a tour of the toilet. <laughs> It has a plastic roof and stairs that lead you up the side. And the reason why there are stairs and that it's not on the ground is because inside these two locked compartments there are wheelie bins. And the pee and the poo goes down through the wheelie bin. And when it gets full, we take the wheelie bin out, seal it and put it in the sun for six to eight months to allow it to cook and then you open it up and it's ready to use on the allotment I will show you one that we did a bit earlier so this is why on this occasion you need steps because you need to raise it because the problem with any of these toilets is to get the container out because it's rather heavy and I've seen some where they have to lift them up and it can go all over the place. So this one is a lot easier. You just roll it out. I'm going to show you now. So if you've got a, a weak stomach, look away. So there it is. The pee and the poo. And when you've finished, you put some shavings on top and you just close it and forget about it we've got a little library in here as well this is what was donated by some of the members and people have put pictures to donate and it's uh, quite nice and it served us well and a sink It doesn't take much to clean, you just get a dustpan and brush and brush out the leaves. So like I said, the pee and poo falls down there, it then goes through the hole into the wheelie bin and then when you open that up, the wheelie bin can just be wheeled out and then you've got your compost. So this is one that I prepared earlier, as they say. So here it is. Now this has been tested by, I think it was the London School of Economics who was doing a study on human pee and poo. And they took some of this and to give it a sample. And it came back that out of all the allotment sites they tested in London, this was by far the most healthiest that they'd seen. So that now, leave that for six to nine months in the sun and it, then it can be used on your allotment. I do know people that have used this method for pumpkins and they've had a great harvest. So do your own research if you're thinking about doing something similar first. So that's it. That is the tour of the toilet. See you next time.